beautiful people and a special, special and a special, special shout out to the neighbors in the building. So y'all know it's Sunday, October 13th. Blow out the candles and toot the horn because this is the day that I was born, October 13th, y'all. So today is my birthday, and I'm celebrating it at the Cajun Seafood Restaurant. And I decided to give me a little boil. I'm going to show it to you all. I got some. Peel and eat shrimp. Corn, egg, broccoli, potatoes, and y'all, some crawfish. All right. And I have a sausage coming in. Y'all, I just feel so good and just feel so grateful today. Um, because it's my, not only because it's my birthday, but anyway, I'll talk about that later. I'm going to go ahead and say grace. And we're going to see what these crawfish, we're going to make it do what it do. How about that? Amen. So, mm -mm, y'all already saw what I had. See the steam? Let me show y'all this. Let me give y'all that aerial view. That's a good thumbnail as well. Since they don't have any seafood sauce, I had to buy mine again. So, because I ran out at home. So I have seafood sauce because I like to dip this in the potatoes with the potatoes and the broccoli and I didn't get any fish and y'all know that I am not lacking any Dasani water okay so luckily they, they sell uh, Dasani water and because it's my birthday Got me a lemon cake, y'all. <laughs> this is my dessert. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take this out. We're gonna go ahead and get it in. It's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Mm, mm, mm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make room to put some of these sauces. Well, put the sauce right in here. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what? I could smell the butter and the garlic. Oh my gosh. The garlic butter, whatever you want to say. It, it smells heavenly. I like to dip the broccoli into that
You know, yesterday we had um, a bountiful blessings giveaway for the community um, at church yesterday. And I'm gonna tell you, it was such an awesome fellowship. And speaking for myself, that's the first time that I've ever fellowshiped with a group of women and it turned out beautifully. And I mean beautifully. <clears throat> It turned out beautifully, and there were people there so appreciative. Mm. It was just a good time in fellowship. We had clothes, shoes, for all ages and sizes, y'all. In case you're asking a question that I've gotten asked today by a few people, what you doing for your birthday and why are you doing it by yourself? Well, this was my plan for my birthday to do a month thing. And perhaps even go fishing. I'll probably even go fishing later on. And I'll tell you like I tell everybody else. God has blessed me tremendously. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> God has blessed me tremendously because last year I was on my back in the hospital getting a new defibrillator. tell you, I feel good just to be here today, to be breathing, to be alive. Speaking of that, being alive, everyone is in such a hurry. In these streets. If you notice, you notice that um, people will come back, come up on you, tailgate you, and then speed off. Like they have some place to go that's more important than where you're going. Don't, don't fear, don't get an attitude. Because you know what? Once you get to that light, they're gonna be right up at their light beside you. <laughs> oh, and I got some sausage. You see how they cut the sausage? I like the way they cut it in servings for me. 
But anyway, they'll be right there at the light. And they don't want to turn their head and look at you. <clears throat> but let me tell you something about road rage. It's not a good thing to have. Only thing it does is stress you out. My daddy used to drive 35 miles an hour in the city, 45 miles an hour on the freeway from coming from Chicago O'Hara Airport. When we ride in the city and he's doing 35 miles an hour, I said, Daddy, uh, you think you may want, you may want to go a little bit faster? Mm -hmm. His reply is, if they're in a hurry, they should have gotten up earlier. to get where they needed to go. He would not be rushed. <laughs> mm. Let's check out this coin, y'all. But I used to have road rage bad to where it really only hurt me because in my mind because in, cause in my car I would be cussing out that person and all that kind of stuff stressing myself out now I just drive and chill okay let them go first. I, they don't have, I don't have to go in front of them. I don't have to be the first one to get to the light. And it's all good. In Okinawa, Japan, you don't blow your horn unless it's an, uh, an emergency. You don't blow your horn if you feel like somebody cut you off or anything like that. Speaking of road rage, I saw this movie that changed my life, and I hope that it'll change yours. If you want, if you are a person out there with road rage, mm, And it's called, <clears throat> it's called Road Rage. But so that you'll know that you got the right movie, I'll give you a little of a synopsis. I will not tell you the movie because I really want you to see it. It follows these two women whose lives economically is totally different. They have a road rage incident with each other that changes their lives forever. One is a single mother with a special needs son trying to make it. The other is a well-to-do woman, a family woman as well, I'm trying to make it as well, but she's wealthy.
But I guarantee you, if you check out this movie, for some of you, it'll completely change your life. Tell y'all, I love, 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 love garlic. Mm -hmm. You can just smell it, see it, and taste it. Put these things on the grill. I used to get them from the seafood place. So I put them on the grill and everything else. I never stop. Tastes like little mini lobster. That's all you eat in them. That's all you eat in them. But check out that um, movie, y'all. Next time you're in a hurry and you find yourself cussing or blowing the horn, getting ready to get out the car and all that, don't do that. Don't stress yourself out. the day that <clears throat> Diane Carroll passed away. You know, Julia, the movie that she used to, well, the TV series. It still comes on Aspire.
Mm. My daddy was crazy, 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 crazy about some Diane Carroll. Mm. Diane Carroll, Gladys Knight, Shirley Caesar. I don't think any of those those women could do any kind of wrong. But my daddy, me and my, my daddy and I used to watch uh, Julia. That was our show. And we also used to watch Rifleman. Y'all remember White Rifleman? Lucas. <laughs> Lucas was a single, single dad with a son. <clears throat> Lucas was like an honorary sheriff because <laughs> he used to help everybody in town and everything else when trouble comes. But Lucas had a, a rifle. And he was bad with that rifle. When I say he was bad with that rifle, he was bad with that rifle. He stopped pumping that rifle. And he didn't put some more caps in a person with that rifle than they didn't, than they didn't even did before, before they could even shoot with a pistol. I know some of the ladies at the church um, watch my videos, sisters to the ones that I, um, you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking to, the fellowship was beautiful, and as I said, that was the first time I've ever fellowship with a group of women. And it turned out to be so beautiful. And it turned out to be so beautiful. So, yeah, that road rage is something else. But yeah, back to Diane Carroll. So she has um, passed away. Rest in heaven. Beautiful, beautiful queen. You can't tell me if I got something on my face. But everything is not perfect. It's not going to be... I try to get my videos as perfect as I can for you all. But it's not going to be perfect all the time. I got the crawfish because it's been years. When I say years, I do mean years since I've had crawfish. to do this um, outside at, in Swansboro um, at the Borough Restaurant. However, the Mother Festival is going on this weekend. 
so I wouldn't have been able to do it there. Mm. And I gotta be honest, I'm not a crawfish fan. They, they just, it just looks good in this boil. in the boil, but no, <clears throat> I'm not a crawfish fan. <laughs> yeah, I know I don't like my hands dirty. <laughs> And y'all know, if you know me, you know I like um, a lot of inspirational shirts. And I got a comment uh, the other day on one of my shirts. Roses, they carry a lot of inspirational shirts, y'all, for like $2.99, 3 or $4 shirts. I have, actually have a print machine at home. It's the ink that's, uh, that gets you. But uh, I actually have a print machine at home. If I wanted to print up, you know, different shirts or anything, I can print mugs, caps, shirts, things like that. But yeah, roses. You know, I was someplace and there was a gentleman complaining about. Um, I forget. What, I forgot what particularly what it was, but. It has something to do about working. I forgot exactly what it was, like I said, but my reply to him was perhaps you should um, work for yourself and stop, having, stop making other people rich. Let me tell you, and I recommended this book to him called Think, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice by James Kimbrough. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of us, we get out there, we get up in the morning, upon the hustle and bustle, to make someone else rich. To fulfill someone else's dreams. By working for them, sweating for them. I don't understand why. This book, Think and Grow Rich, <clears throat> I still, I have so many tags, sticky tags in there that I use as reference. <clears throat> but, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice by James Kimbrough. And then there's another co-writer, uh, co-author with him. I cannot remember the name. But it's a blue book. And, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they have it in audio. They may have it in audio too as well. But check that book out. You can do whatever you set your mind to. You don't have to work with anyone else. ready to do a, um, a vision board as well. Yeah, I'm getting ready to do a vision board. 
Only because, listen. As long as I have breath in my body, I'm always, I'm always gonna have goals. I'm always gonna reach those goals as long as God allows me to. You should feel that way. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> but I definitely feel that way. The sunny. I got a secret. <clears throat> Come closer. Come on a little bit closer. Come on. My dog even eats the sun drinks the sunny. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Go get some bait. We go fishing. I'm telling y'all. Listen. You all enjoyed this video. Y'all make sure y'all come on down and check out. Y'all come down and check out the Cajun Seafood Restaurant. Okay? Jacksonville, North Carolina, y'all. Mmm. They have crab legs, but for their boil, the muscle boil, not muscle boil, but for their, um, their, I don't get if you call it a boil or whatever you call it, you can, they have, um, muscles, but in that, in that order, ooh, excuse me. It's like 30 some muscles that come in there, which I'm only gonna eat a few. So the next time I do a boil, it'll probably be with someone um, when I have to have more food and stuff like that. Uh, variety, so. But yeah, this was good, actually. It was good. Did you know, y'all know this is my place. But don't forget that movie. Road Rage. And, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. I'm going to, there's a video, my Winston-Salem visit, and Marvin, Bishop Marvin Sapp was our, uh, that did a sermon. And, um, 
I do have that sermon on audio, but it's also in my video as well. But the sermon on that's on audio, I'm going to put it on my Instagram page. Let it be inspirational to someone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 share. Did I say share? Share with any and everyone that you know. Share my channel, guys. New YouTubers. I'm open to someone is looking at me. <laughs> Turned around and she was looking dead at me smiling. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. And, um, oh, new YouTubers. I'm a new YouTuber as well. Like I said, I just started it in June, this uh, channel. So please contact me. Let's do some, let's, let's eat. Let's get together, sit down, eat, do some fellowshipping. And um, at the same time, recording, okay? But I'm not open to any and everyone. But uh, please let me know. So <clears throat> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with everybody you know. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, happy birthday to me, me, me. Yeah, today is all about me. But um, don't forget to come and check out Cajun Seafood Restaurant over here off of Gun Branch. I think it's off of yeah, off Gun Branch. I'm Jacksonville, North Carolina, y'all. And have a blessed day. And y'all stay safe. Stay safe. Much blessings. Oh, guys, Ivory, the one that works here at the Cajun Seafood Restaurant. It's my birthday cake, y'all. And ten. This was given to me. I at least have to take a piece of it. Don't y'all love lemon cake? I love lemon cake. But I'm only a... Uh, I don't love sweets like that. You know, especially cakes and stuff like that. It's too tough. Like I do candy, mm -hmm. like now ladies and Twizzlers, yeah. Give me some candy and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you got me. Stay blessed.